So, hello again YouTube. Uh, I am back with another episode, hopefully now with uh, the sound and everything that should come with it. It's a beautiful day here in Russia or where we are. I think we're in Russia still. Nobody uh, has answered me yet. Uh, what I have been doing while I've been away or while my uh, recording software has screwed things up for me I have been working on a way to make my bailing more effective uh, because uh, the ones of you that have followed me from the early beginning knows that I have spent a lot of time bailing with a lot of success we had made uh, quite a lot of money but it takes forever so what I did is I went to the mod hub, I downloaded um, what you call it, a, a follow me mod. What the follow me mod does is you uh, pick one tractor to follow another tractor. And with this system I have um, created an quite an effective way to uh, make uh, bales, silage bales because the silage bales are probably what pays the most I think. The method I will show you now also work with the round baler and I will try to put out a um, how to video on how to do this with uh, without the Kuhn DLC but I found that it's more effective to do it with the square bales and the square bale wrapper as you can see here so I will set things up and we will start going so here we are inside our new Massey Ferguson 7700 and when we turn the wheel over here it's a bit tight maybe. Let's go outside to have a look. Yeah, it's a bit tight. Now I will put on the I will put on the follow me. As you can see here it says leader and a head distance. And a head distance you can turn up and down and it uh, determines how long behind the first tractor the second will follow. What I will do now is I will also turn on the, the baler if I can get it to the right one. I'll turn on the baler and then we will go to the next tractor where we have the square baler. If you turn on this tractor and unfold the wrapper. We will drive up behind the baler. And let's see. Yeah. So you see here, leader I is the Massive Ferguson 7700. It's set to have a head distance of 30 something, I think it's meter maybe. And we have set a right offset. And what the right offset is, is that the tractor that is following is going to be 2.5 to the right, no, from the right. So to the left of the track of the first tractor. And this is because, as you might know, the, the baler or the wrapper has, are lying on the side. Of the, of the tractor. So, now we have everything set up. I have uh, already mowed the grass. I still haven't figured a way to do this without uh, sending the mower on its way first, but anyhow, if we now hire a worker on uh, this first tractor, this should 
make silage bales for us without us doing anything more. So let's hire a worker and see if it works. So Wind Rover is going in front. You can see the the baler follows. And it makes wonderful bales. And if we jump in behind tractor you can see now let's see if this lines up I'm actually doing nothing just as you know I'm not touching the keyboard at all I'm just positioning the camera and here you can see the, the Kuhn square baler in action as well so what before was a lot of different processes. First you had to hire someone to drive the mower, then you had to hire someone to do, uh, drive the wine, uh, wine rover, and then you had to go bale it yourself and pick up the bales and wrap it yourself. It took forever, guys, I have to tell you. It, it took a l really long time so in this way it's much more effective and it does so we can uh, we can spend our time doing something else like caring for the animals for instance so I this will maybe not work it is not perfect the system we uh, usually lose one or two bales every on every field but then again it does a lot of the work for us so we don't really it doesn't really matter if it loses a couple of bales uh, you will still save a lot of time on this system and I'm really happy with myself I really have I actually haven't seen this anywhere else on YouTube so I hope you like this and as you can see it drives itself. So what we need to do now is just drive and collect. If you turn this one on first. I know this is a little bit uh, too small tractor but I haven't bought a bigger one yet. I will eventually. This is really heavy <laughs> when it's full. What you might remember from me uh, selling my other silage bales, you know that it pays about 1700 uh, per bale. And with the reason why I'm using the square baler instead of the round baler is actually because the bale handler can pick up the double amount of bales and it saves me a lot of time with the square bales and of course I like the pink bales um, if my girlfriend was happy me uh, picking the pink bales I don't know if you guys know but in Norway and maybe in the rest of the world uh, they sold the pink wrap uh, to, uh, and gave uh, some of the profits to uh, research on breast cancer and I thought that would be a nice thing to do myself since I'm supporting the breast cancer case here in Norway I, I thought I can use the pink wrap to be good clean conscience so now we can see the um, the silage train is almost coming to a halt and I will show you how easy we transport everything to another field so uh, yeah, you can see there is another bale. 
So what we'll do, what we'll do now is we just uh, fold uh, this one up and we drive. And as you can see, the workers keep on doing their job. Even if you drive away, they follow your line and do, do, uh, are doing their job. Are doing their job uh, finished before they leave the field, which is nice. And remember that uh, we have an offset on on the wrappers, so don't drive too close to things. They will. The wrapper, uh, the wrapper tractor will not avoid anything. So take big turns and try to go in the middle of stuff. There you can see the baler. I already had our wolf tractor here to clean stuff up. Now you can just push higher worker. And there you see the bailer comer coming. And the wrapper following behind. So I hope you like Somebody is supposedly blocked by an object, maybe it was me. I hope uh, you like what you saw here. Um, please, if you make another video on this, please give me a shout out. Uh, it will be really appreciated. I will also make a how to video on the. Um, on how to do this with the round baler here you can see it. this one will maybe not work I'm not sure how this will work uh, if the field is on a slope I think that is why it sometimes messes up you can see here it's here is one of the problems with this technique Normally, I had uh, a bit of problems with the round bales, but the square bales usually just fall out to the sides. So we can either go and take them manually afterwards or just leave them on the side, as I did with some round bales here. And you can see, it. maybe, yeah, he, he, he caught one. But that's nice. Uh, now we can go to our bale handler here and go sell it and you will see how much money we make on one field actually this was a little bit more than one field I think I had three bales or four bales from before but anyhow there we go that's one full trailer And I know for a fact that I have actually one more stack of bales standing on the cell point because I didn't manage to I didn't manage to back the trailer up long enough. As you can see over there. Let's call it our reserves. Oh, well, if we start to unload here. So in one turn we made about 28,000 euros, which is really good, I think. Remember that the guys are still working now, even if even if I'm driving and selling. We'll try to just ram this one into the cell point. Yep, it worked. Great. So 
thank you for watching guys sorry I didn't do everything on screen but as I told you my uh, computer messed up or maybe it wasn't my computer maybe it was something else anyhow thank you for watching and in the episodes to come we will uh, start buying some more fields and finally do some other types of farming oh, thank you so much again uh, it's good to be back now with good sound and I'll see you then. Bye for now.